Hi, I'm Paul Friedman. I'm the founder of the Marriage Foundation and hopefully you're already a subscriber because we have so many over a thousand great videos and one coming nearly every day and our approach to marriage is so practical. It works so well. This topic is for men, obviously, what to do when your wife pushes you away. Now, remember, I used to be a divorce mediator. I've seen it all. We've been doing this for over 20 years. We have courses for men. We have courses for women, too. We have books. We have a lot of free offerings. So you should visit our website and see. We're also training uh, people to be marriage counselors. Usually the people who are come and learning already have a license or they're clergy, but you don't have to. And so this particular class about what to do if your wife pushes you away, just the fact that you're looking at this, that's saying a lot, isn't it? It's saying that your marriage is not running the way you want it to run. What do you expect when you're married? Well, before you got married, when you were dating, you thought, oh, I found my soulmate. This is amazing. We're gonna have such a happy life together. She was easygoing. She smiled a lot. She did things for you. She was kind, considerate. She never yelled at you, rarely argued, was really like the perfect woman. Well, and you, you were like the perfect man. Did you know, I found this out as a divorce mediator, that was over 22 years ago, that there is a common denominator in marriages that are failing. And yours might be failing because your wife should not be pushing you away. That common denominator is over familiarity, which means that you have grown so used to each other that whatever is on your mind just comes out. And usually it's unkind. And it's ironic. We get married to create happiness for each other, to fill that vessel of marriage that I call the sacred space of marriage, to fill it with love. And yet, what we end up filling it with is a lot of terrible things. Criticism, condemnation, complaining. The first thing we do when we see each other is, did you do this? How about da 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 da? What happened here? It, it's crazy. We're not treating each other the way we promised to treat each other when we got married. So if your wife is pushing you away, what do you do? You change the dynamic of your marriage. You change the dynamic of your marriage, but she, forget her. You alone have the power to change the dynamic of your marriage. That doesn't mean that when you're behaving as you should, she's going to respond accordingly, but what's going to happen, and it's mathematical because we live in a cause and effect world, what will happen are the things that won't happen anymore. So when you would complain, you'd get a reaction. Well, if you're not complaining, you're not gonna get a reaction anymore, right? It's simple. If you're critical, you're gonna get a reaction. If you stop completely being critical and there's no reason for you to be critical, who are you to not accept her as she is? This is, you know, there's this commonality in the world right now about marriage that we're supposed to challenge each other. We help each other grow. Well, that's, I almost, I almost used a farm term. We are not there to help each other grow. That is not true. We are there so that we can learn how to love unconditionally. That's what marriage is for. As a human being, well, now, see, you got me started. Now I got to talk about what is a human being. A human being is not an evolved animal. Human being begins with a soul. You are a soul. This is not a religious discussion. 
You are soul. You have a body. You're not the body, right? You don't go, I am this body. No, no, you have one. I can make my hand go like this. I can make my head go like this. It's not you. You have total control over your body. Even at the deepest levels of the subconscious mind, the mind is controlling the body. Okay, now we get to the next step. Who's controlling the mind? Aha, and this is where all the trouble begins, quite frankly. We have never been taught that as the soul, we possess a body, that's easy, but we also possess the mind. The mind is there to serve us, not to be this reactive intermediary between us and the world or us and our wife. We are intended to, obligated to control the mind. So when the mind is feeling pissed off, we are in charge of that mind and we can say to the mind, no, we're not going to do anger. We're going to do love. What are the expressions of love? Kindness, compliments, positive reinforcement, telling her she's beautiful, smiling. That's what we're going to do. But we're not going to start with the outer stuff. No, 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 no. A lot of people who teach marriage teach that. It doesn't last. You need to learn how to master your mind. It is a prerequisite for happiness. Mastering the mind is essential. We're not taught it but someday we all will be taught it. It will be part of every curriculum for a child growing up. We still live in a very primitive time. Maybe not technologically, but even technologically. Do you realize that in the far, far off future, you won't have to get into a car? There will be an electronic transporter and boom, you'll be somewhere else. There won't be any roads or things like that. It's gonna be interesting. But we're not going to be there, hopefully, unless you believe in reincarnation, then I still hope you're not there. Getting back to this, what do you do if your wife pushes you away? You stop and you realize she doesn't want what you have to offer at that moment. Why? If you were to offer a fudge brownie and she was into chocolate with a cup of coffee, she wouldn't be pushing you away. What you're offering her is turning her off. You can't just change the little things. You gotta change the whole dynamic of the marriage. That's why it's important for you to go to our website, see what we have as offerings. You may realize on your own after you go through all the things we have that you wanna take the course for men and then you should. You may think, well, I'll just read one of his books, that's great. You may think, I'll just subscribe, I'll watch these videos, I'm learning a ton, that'll work. I'll read his articles, I'll read what's on the web, fine. I want you to be happy. I want your marriage to be an example of what it's like to be married the right way, where the result is joy ever-increasing joy, ever-increasing love. I'm Paul Friedman. I founded the Marriage Foundation. God bless you and take care.